Hi everyone, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw two ANOVA interaction plots in R. So a quick reminder and recap on what a two-way ANOVA is. Uh, as always in a two-way ANOVA, we have two factors that we are interested in. So our first hypothesis is that there is a difference between the means of one factor. The second hypothesis is that there is a difference between the means of the other factor. But the one we're often most interested in is the hypothesis that states there is no interaction between the two factors. In other words, they are independent of each other. And the alternative hypothesis to that is that they um, there is an interaction in and that they do depend on each other. The data set I've used in this video is uh, the tooth growth uh, data set. It's an inbuilt data set in R. And it, this is video no number 94 in the series. In video number 93, we walked you through how to perform the two-way ANOVA test and to, to summarize the results on lines 14 and 15 here. If you click at the link at the top of the video screen now, it should bring you to uh, a summary of how that video, of how that video was put together. So let's go and execute these uh, lines of code and um, we get our summary um, ANOVA table down in the bottom in the console and we can see that we've got an ANOVA uh, table here, a two-way ANOVA table. Uh, quick recap, the first factor was the supplement. We've got a very small p-value which indicates that there is a difference between the supplements um, in which are vitamin C and orange juice. These, these data are for the tooth growth in guinea pigs. We've also found that there's a difference in the doses. Okay, And finally, we found that there is an interaction uh, between uh, the supplement and the dose, the different doses. Uh, it is significant at our alpha value of 0 0.05, the p-value of 0 0.02 being less than our alpha value. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis, which is hypothesis number three, that there is no interaction between the two factors in favour of the alternative, that there is an interaction. So um, we have found an interaction here, but we also uh, can use uh, what are called interaction plots uh, to visualize the differences here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, the uh, function that you use is called interaction.plot. And if you haven't used this before, do go to the help screen and uh, type in interaction.plot and you will get some information, descriptions and usages and parameters and so on used in some examples used in this function. If you haven't used it before, uh, it's always a good idea to look up a new function in the help section in our studio to give you some more information about that. So now I'm going to need to do this twice. So I'm going to draw an interaction plot for supplement first of all. Now remember there are two supplements, um, the orange juice supplement and the um, vitamin C supplement. So the, I'm going to do this first for tooth growth supplement. Dollar sign um, supplement, so that's sup. A comma after that. And now the factors uh, in this case here are the doses. So I need a factor in function inside in here. And again, using the tooth growth to indicate that the factor is a dose in this case. Select dose. And the final thing we need to do is um, uh, we're going to, obviously, it's the, the length of tooth growth is what we are measuring here. So tooth growth dollar sign len is the variable that we are, is the measurement variable here. So now uh, when I uh, perform this, just a quick, quick recap, I'm using the interaction.plot function. Uh, I'm drawing it first for the supplement um, uh, factor. Uh, when I do this again, I'll use this for the dose factor. Uh, in the supplement factor, we, we know that there are three different doses, so we use the factor function to uh, illustrate the three different doses. And the variable of interest that we are is the length of tooth growth in the guinea pigs. So let's run this and see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to move the um, plot a little bit wider here, and also I'm going to go back to the code and just move this down so we can see all the code when we are looking at our diagram. Okay, so that's all the code there. And what we see here over on the right-hand side is we see that we have an interaction plot, and there are three lines in the plot because we are doing a tooth growth supplement first of all, so there are uh, uh, the supplements are for OJ for orange juice and VC for vitamin C and these lines represent the mean values in each of these and we can see that there are three lines because uh, we've got three 
different sets of tooth growth for each of the different doses. And this factor here, the tooth growth, we can see that our lines are not parallel. And when lines on an interaction plot are not parallel, it is an indication that there may be an interaction. Now we already know from the ANOVA table that there is an interaction, but visually we've also got a representation of this as well. So we can see here the uh, three means of the orange juicer here would be on the left hand side and the three means for the vitamin C are on the right hand side. Now let's go back and do this for, for um, the second factor, which is the dose. So I'm going to copy this line of code and paste it in again just to save myself some typing. Make this a bit wider. And so what I want to do now is I want to do to change the first variable um, to dose. So we've got three. So I'm going to take out this variable here. Just um, copy and delete and copy to my clipboard. So my first factor is going to be dose. Now I need the factor function because I've got three separate doses. And then um, after this then I need to put in uh, from my clipboard, uh, paste in the tooth growth supplement and put a comma after that. And then I've got the variable that we are measuring is the tooth length. I don't need to change that. So in other words, I've just swapped around these two, two factors. Uh, for the first interaction plot for a supplement, I put supplement first and then the dose second. And now uh, I've just swapped those two around. So now let me run this second. Um, and we can see now we've got on our x-axis the three doses. So the factor here is the three doses. And again, you can see that there are the means for 0 0.5 are quite low. The means for a dose of one is are, are, are higher. And the means for the dose of two are actually quite close together, but they're higher again. We only get two lines this time here because there are two supplements being viewed here for the three different doses. Again, we see that the interaction uh, plot lines are not parallel and that this is also a visual indication that there is no interaction. So interaction plots don't prove um, that there is an interaction, uh, but they do give a strong indication. And the reason for that is they are based on samples rather than on the population. So that's how you draw interaction plots in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.